welcome friends welcome to our youtube channel and uh, i am myself i am anjaneelu so i am working at present in one private university as a uh, faculty so today we are going to discuss about uh, one topic called uh, structure of an atom which is very important for the uh, polytechnic exam for entrance purpose and sometimes uh, at least two to three questions will be covered from this topic right? because it's a very important topic and a very basic topic to help you out in the upcoming exam okay friends let's uh, uh, no more wait let's come to the topic that is structure of atom the structure of atom is the basic point which we are going to uh, discuss in today's class the see every object has its own structure for example if you take a ball it is a spherical shape for example if you take a cube we know already it can be a rectangle or it can be a you know square so like that if you start going uh, thinking about each particle and you know object so you will end up with what is the smallest particle or you know element so that is nothing but our atom atom is the smallest particle which cannot be subdivided okay right uh, here we have some example for you know uh, the square box and we also have the shape of a ball okay students we have uh, what it means it means every object has a shape and size and a value right if you start thinking in the direction the smallest one is an atom so what an atom consists of an atom consists of a nucleus which i have drawn with red color okay so the nucleus nucleus which contains positively charged particles also neutral charged particles which we have learned in our lower classes that is neutrons and protons so then around the nucleus there are electrons which are moving in a circular orbits as per the bose theory okay and they are moving around this nucleus okay and there are you know different kind of shells so we will represent with s p d and f s shell p shell d shell and f shell being the s is the lowest which is closer to the nucleus hence it has more attractive and more penetration power to the nucleus and this is one of the topic which will be generally asked in the exam which has which has okay more penetration power obviously the lowest which is closer to the nucleus will have the most attractive power hence more penetrating power this is the question asked in the previous exam okay coming to the next point we have just now shown different objects have different shape and size so coming to that point what is the size of a atom what is the typical size of an atom so that is the another question related to size so the typical size of the atom will be in the range of 10 power of minus 10 meters so how to visualize this size how do you you know recognize that small size so what is the size of a healthy human hair it is around 75 microns this human health you know a very healthy human hair size is around 75 microns if you take a textbook okay any textbook for example like this so in this if you pick up one sheet this sheet size the thickness is around 30 microns so if you divide that size to 1 by 1000 times okay you will be going to nanometer if you divide even another 10 that is 10000 times so the size will be of nothing but your atomic size that is 10 power of minus 10 meters so meter is an si unit so what is the size of the atom students it will be 10 power of minus 10 meters okay so now immediately the question comes okay so if this is the entire size of an atom what is the size of the nucleus obviously the nucleus should be much much smaller than the size of the atom so how many times 1000 times smaller so the size of the nucleus is of the order of around 10 power of minus 40 meters so this is the size related question now for example if somebody ask okay what is this size how do i represent for example if you take this 1 cm okay which is you know in terms of meter it is 10 power of minus 2 meters 
similarly if you try to represent the size of 1 mm okay one you know one small part of one small division of scale that is equal to 10 power of minus 3 meters so if you go on writing so if you write for 1 micron 1 micrometer that is 10 power of minus 6 meter so nowadays everything is you know the buzzword is nano so what is the size of the nano so 1 nanometer size is equal to 10 power of minus 9 meters so this is one of the question appeared in the previous exams okay students okay so coming to now this spd and so on so we can keep adding another you know what are these circular path what are these circular uh, you know uh, things these are nothing but the orbits okay these are nothing but orbits what is mean by orbit so when you go on a road how do you how do you walk on a road so you generally walk on a left side why because we have put some restriction as per the government so we have to walk all the time left side likewise the electrons also have certain restrictions certain restrictions so those restrictions is nothing but in the form of circular paths those circular paths are the only one which we have drawn here these are now orbits are paths followed by an electron around the nucleus so we call them as circular orbits okay these circular orbits will be represented by different parameters that is s p d and f the lowest circular orbit which is closer to the nucleus is s orbital okay likewise the next immediate one is p orbital and then the next one is d and next one is f and so on so now what we need to understand or what we understand from this discussion from this discussion what we understand is around the nucleus there are circular paths in which electrons will be moving on so the lowest one is s and then followed by p d and f friends uh, let us see today's uh, you know some of the previous questions appeared in the pre uh, past exams so we will begin with few questions and with answers as well as little bit explanation i hope you won't uh, miss the joyful today's class okay let's see that the first question appeared in the some of the previous questions the first question is in a given shell the orbital which has more penetration power towards the nucleus as we discussed in the last class that the s orbital which is closer to the nucleus has more penetration power obviously so as if you check for the order so it is s s p d f so the answer is happened to be s okay so then uh, as discussed in the previous class we now coming to the size so for example if you take the size 1 nanometer is equal to as in the last class we have told we start with 1 meter which is equal to, uh, 1 meter and then 1 cm okay so we are going towards the lowest scale that is 10 power of minus 2 meter okay and if you go for you know 1 mm and that is nothing but 10 power of minus 3 meter <laughs> if you go to micrometer okay 1 micrometer that is 10 power of minus 6 meter so on so forth if you go if you write 1 nano okay that is 10 power of minus 9 meter so our answer is to be 10 power of minus 9 as you already know in mathematics mona mono di tri tetra penta hexa octa and nano so this is our answer which is here 10 power of minus 9 meter now energy of electromagnetic radiation is given by in an atom whenever an electron whenever an electron moves from lower energy to higher energy level okay it will absorb electromagnetic radiation means some energy so energy is in the form of electromagnetic radiation energy has many form likewise there is a electromagnetic radiation so whenever the electron goes from lower energy level to higher energy level in an atom so it will absorb electromagnetic radiation and that energy is generally represented by its frequency times the planck's constant so if you see all these equations carefully there is a h and by nu there is a h into nu there is a h into lambda lambda is wavelength 
and here also lambda by h so obviously these two answers are not going to fit into our explanation because energy will be generally associated with the frequency so we have now stuck with these two answers so obviously we have already told that means it is generally known that electromagnetic radiation will be observed in the quantized packets that is h nu so our answer is h nu okay so h by nu we are going to strike out so i hope you found uh, what we are discussing about the electromagnetic radiation right so electron enters this orbital after 3d is filled up okay so we already shown that there is a 1s you know in uh, n is equal to 1 okay we just have to uh, uh, learn little bit about the quantum numbers that is there is a different kind of quantum numbers principal quantum numbers orbital quantum numbers magnetic quantum numbers and spin quantum numbers so to begin with the principal quantum number principal quantum number is represented by as we discussed when there is a atom there is a nucleus when there is an atom there is a nucleus and then there is a first orbital second orbital third orbital and so on so forth so the first one is represented by principal quantum number n is equal to 1 followed by n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 and so on so forth okay so here uh, what we see here in uh, in a electron enters this orbital after 3d so there is a half of principle and hooke's rule which says that the electron will be filled as per this order so one is then in a first orbital n is equal to 1 corresponding to principal quantum number n is equal to 1 there is a one s orbital okay corresponding to n is equal to 2 see remember 2 2s 2p orbital okay corresponding to n is equal to 3 there is a 3s 3p and 3d so likewise for n is equal to 4 we have 4s 4p 4d and 4f so in any given orbital okay how the electrons will be start filling so they will be start filling okay if you have to cross them okay so the arrow mark will show the direction of the electrons filling in the orbitals okay you can see here as per the arrow which we have drawn over here okay right 4p so this is a little trick you have to remind remember okay so then comes to the next question in this one that is in this atom there is only one elliptical orbit there are no circular orbits so we already discussed in the previous class the electrons around the nucleus move in circular orbits so there is no question of elliptical orbits and the answer is obviously none because all the elements these are the atoms okay will have circular orbits whatever is the atom it has circular orbit so there is no elliptical uh, no elliptical orbit so the answer is going to be none okay so coming to the next question which one of the following orbitals is possible so which we have just now shown here in the previous uh, uh, case in the previous case so you can see here for n is equal to 1 we have only one s orbit okay and n is equal to 2 you have 2s and 2p and for n is equal to 3 you have 3s 3p and 3d so if you coming to that question okay if you see that carefully 1p is not possible because n is equal to 1 only 1s so this is strike out and for n is equal to 2 only 2s and 2p is possible so 2d is also crossed out okay and if you see n is equal to 3 so it is 3s 3p and 3d so 3f is not possible so the answer is left with 2s okay students hope you got it how you can identify which orbitals are possible for a given atom so coming to the next question the equation e is equal to h nu is proposed by so nowadays corona is running so everybody is you know behind of the scientist so people are you know wondering who are invented this vaccine for you know the corona virus likewise in case of atoms we have one equation which we have seen previously that is the electromagnetic radiation its energy is expressed by h nu who is invented this so it is important to know it is max planck one of the greatest scientist ever born the max planck which has given on his name this constant that is planck's constant okay so coming to the next question n and l values for the electron in 2p subshell r so we already shown in the previous example that n is equal to 1 only 1s will be there n is equal to 
2s 2p will be there so likewise when we begin this lecture saying the quantum numbers there are four different quantum numbers n principal quantum number l orbital quantum number ml magnetic quantum number ms spin quantum number okay for example if you take n is equal to 1 the possible values of l is okay always remember l is less than or equal to n okay l is less than or equal to n minus 1 okay l is always equal to less than or equal to n minus 1 always l follows n okay and ml follows l okay but s ms is quite independent which is spin related right so for example if you take n is equal to 2 okay if you take n is equal to what are the possible for values for l so l can have 0 comma 1 so the possible value for l is equal to 0 comma 1 so immediately you can identify for 2p subshell 2p subshell so the 2 represents the principal quantum number that is n so if l is equal to 0 it represents a subshell of s and if l is equal to 1 represents a p subshell so n is equal to 2 and 2 p means so obviously you can write n is equal to 2 and l is equal to 1 so which is the third answer i hope you enjoyed this lecture you can subscribe our video channel if you like our lecture and uh, uh, we also you know I invite your comments feedback to improve further and we also request you to share all your friends.